Hello, family, and welcome to another adventurous vlog. Let me ask you a question first. When was the last time you had a pineapple in Ghana? Now I know it was super delicious, but did you think, hmm, where are these pineapples exactly from? Were you even curious if they were imported or exported? Now I know a lot of you have tasted the lovely sweet fruit, and guess what? They come right from here. Well, we have cleared the air that the pineapples are grown right here in the motherland. Now, have you ever wondered who are the biggest exporters of pineapples are in Ghana? Well, let me take you on a tour to Milani Limited, located in Kaswa, Ghana. Sitting on the border of Central Region, this farmland has over 2,000 acres of pineapples growing. Founded in 1993, Milani has been trading pineapples till date. Committed to providing the best, it has remained the biggest exporters from Ghana. Not only do they provide pineapples to the locals of Ghana, but they ship on a daily by air and sea freight to countries like Morocco, Netherlands, and Seychelles. So much to learn from this amazing tour. Sit back, relax, and enjoy how pineapples leave from the farm to your lovely homes. Welcome to another video guys. I told you I'll be exploring Ghana a little bit more but today we are here once again with Location Ghana. We are touring a pineapple farm guys. So it was about two and a half hours to get here only because it was really raining and then the road here is like kind of really bad. But I'll get you guys more information about the name of the town, where it's located and all of that. But we are outside, we're towards the central region so that's like after Kaswa side. So yeah, we're about to begin our tour. So join us. Everyone say hi. hi. Hello. <laughs> we definitely have. Let the tour begin. So with the lap question, we start by allowing our fields to follow for three years. So after the three years, then um, we destroy the fields that distracting them. So by three years time, it is expected 
that deathless the plants that we the, the ones that we harvested the food from by then everything would have been decomposed back to the soil mm. and then it's also a way of replenishing the nutrients in the soil so after the farm Subsoil as you make the subsoil, we do the first one, it has a teeth like this. The first one, if this, if let's say like this one, the direction of the bed is going this way. So if the direction it has to go this way, it means the first subsoil will go this way and then we we'll cross it. So the second one will come this way. So now they'll come and lock, like something like this, mm. to ensure that the land is thoroughly thick. So because we, we, we expect a certain kind of depth. Or the root of pineapple can travel you know up to even 70 centimeters oh wow 70 yes it has adventitious roots mm. the adventitious roots are as tiny as they are they can travel up to even 70 centimeters so the ideal is after the subsoil we should achieve a depth of not less than 40 centimeters 14, so from planting if you plant up to the 10th month mm -hmm. then it is expected that you have to force them so okay. the, the forcing to is like a spontaneous way of inducing the flowers to come so at, the same, at the same time. Inducing labor. Oh, okay. Yes, that's what, that, that's what we call the forcing. Wait, so there needs to be a flower and that's how you know. Yes. We'll see some of them. We'll okay. 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 We'll okay. see. Okay. see let, let, let me chip in something. They, they all have a mind of their own. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, okay. If you leave them like that, this one will decide how will come flower to be. This one will flower uh -huh. till three weeks. Um, Meanwhile, you are supposed to meet your export demands. Yes. Yeah. So you need to ensure that there is uniformity in yeah. flowering, uniformity in production. Okay. That's the reason for the for yeah. force. Yeah. The word is force, yeah. not not in not you are not adding some poisonous substance. Yeah. They, are, they are natural compounds that you can introduce, either in issues for in, in liquid form mm. that you apply to stimulate the plants to flower at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So we do we do. Um, do we do that year. here in Ghana? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, run some Ghana, of the analysis. What, what we do is that the we send leaf samples to the UK, to the Yara lab in the yeah. UK. Mm. Okay. Every, every, three, every three months. Yeah. Oh, so it's leaf. You, so you don't sell the soil, you send the leaf. No, we do, we do soil, soil analysis, analysis as well. Okay. And then we, we also, also do the leaf the analysis. analysis. But you need to know the nutrient levels or nutrient deficiencies in uh, both oh, the soil and, and, and the plant. And then what the plant has, so you know what to give the plant. Exactly. So yeah, we have a... We have a what a site specific it's nutrient science. Science. Yeah. It's, it's science. Yeah. Wow. Okay. When they say do science. Four zero one. Population. Population is eight thousand. The grade of planting material. Then the grade of the planting, planting material. material. We have various grades that we. And the date we planted. Okay. Mm. So population. So if we go through one, okay. each one. So plot is the plot. The land. The bit of. So the, the plot. They have their name. So this one like this is um, P one red. Okay. P1 red. Yeah. So once we, we, we come to this side and you see 401, you know it's P1 red block number yeah. 401. Oh. And then you know that this side is lane 400. If you go to this side, it's lane 300. Yeah, yeah. You go in that regard, so it's easy to identify. And then population is what? That's the, the number, total of number of plants. Really? Yes. So, so just this to confirm, this, yes. Yes. and exactly. this is what it looks like now. <laughs> Was it already tall when you planted it? No. You will see the circus. When we go to the circus, so like, there is a way we prepare the circus. So wait, am I am I getting it wrong? Because I remember you mentioned ten months, right? Yeah. So it goes down from so, the. So this, this the ten months. So this is only one month. Pineapple. This is only one month. So it has nine, nine months, months to go yes. before. before. Yes. Wow. And I thought it was like almost ready. No, to... no, 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 oh, no, no, okay. no, no, no. You will see the almost ready ones. Yeah, it's like coming out, isn't it? The almost ready ones. These are May ones. These are May planting. These are May planting. Okay, so you can okay. see the difference. Oh, oh okay. okay. See it, see it, see it. Okay. got it, got it. You see it, it over crazy. there. Wow. Just wanted to show you guys, this is four months of planting here compared to the one that he showed us over there that's one month. So this is four months. So what do you want? learning so much like I appreciate pineapples even more now and it's literally one of my favorite fruits now <laughs> when I eat it <laughs> I'll be taking my time and eating it because there's a lot that really goes into doing this but like it's I love this like 
very educational it's not all the time that we are chilling chilling sometimes we have to come and like learn stuff and um yeah we're still learning more so we're going to another side of the um of the farm so yeah Um, like this, this is the fourth cycle that we harvest the suckers from here. So what we normal do, normally do is, um, after harvesting the fruit, we we slash the plant. So once you slash it, you give that room for this seed to now come. And then with good treatment, this seed you can harvest up to the fifth cycle. Oh. And ideally, after the first slashing, within three months, it's expected that the first seed should come. So when they come, they come. We have some desired sizes or weight that we want before we harvest. Mm. So we check this. No, okay. So we have how we how we check the weight. We have grade one, grade two. We have grade one, grade two, grade three, and grade four. So mostly, what we prefer is from grade two to the grade four. So you come and then. Um, Like this one. So this is how we have it. Mm. Okay. This is how we have it. So you just put it. You just put it inside like that. Yeah. So and so then that's what you do. You can try it. You try it. Yes. Yeah. Please don't so try. Yeah, you, you, you can use this. You can break it. Like yes. You break it. Have it. You know this is. You can still use it to plant yeah, them. Mm. Yeah. This is what we used to plant. For the first thing, man. This seed will come. Mm. So if you check here, this is the mother the plant. Check here, this is the mother plant. Yeah. So the suckers will not come from the base yeah. of the mother plant. Mm. And ideally, every thing. mother plant can give you minimum stimulus uh, per plant mm. per cycle. Wow. So you even get more than the population yeah. of the entire world. Really? It's more like a dump. And you see those okay. things, so that's the roots. So that's mm. where the yeah. pineapple comes from. Yeah. What should take this one? No, no, no. This is Nice, nice, nice. So, hold it like this. Hold it like this. And then pop it down. It's easy, bugs. right? Oh. Yeah, it's not difficult. It's not difficult. There's a lot of bugs, really though. Nah, I know, right? Let me see. Take a picture. Yeah, that's insects. Okay. I like what someone Wait, has look. done already. Just let me hold it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, this, this this evidence. This the evidence. Is that, that's so, the evidence. No, let me give you a big one. Let me give you a big one. No. Uh, no, that one. Take it. Yes. So you have this and take me a picture. <laughs> or you use your your phone. Take yeah, it. That's it. So that at least. Please give me one. Let me I'll pretend it's for me. She's never saying it's for me. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. This is a sucker there, that kind of plant. It comes from this, yeah, this uh, area here. They call them apicomerisins. So here's where it shoots from. So uh, the plant, a mother plant, has several of these. So it starts from down. down. The more you have is this one. This one gets activated and goes up. Some have the same strength, so they grow up together at the same time. Ah. So the more you harvest, the more you also they also come out. Nice. Yeah. So the last step to the 40-42 centimeters. In order to transport a lot and easy transport to, we bundle them according to grades. So they are grouped according to their weight. So each bundle is made up of 20 sackets. So if you put it in the soil, no. When it gets to the planting side, this is just to, uh, for easy transport to the planting side. Okay. And then we have also grouped them in grades. So this is a grade two sucker. So when it gets there, they will now spread like this before they plant them one one. So you, so you plant this one? Yes, you plant them one one like this. So if you plant this one, it will grow? Yes, it will. There will be pineapple. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh sure. Look at the pineapple guys. Look at them. Ooh, I never knew they come like this. Oh that's how they come. I thought they, they just pull them straight from the root. No, 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 no. I didn't know they come like this. You see, this is why we need to educate ourselves. Yeah. Guys, we're going to harvest. Yeah. 
there's some over there. Oh, there's one here. Can we pull these ones? Yeah, but it's too small. It's small, right? It's these are nice. Ooh, these are nice, yeah. Okay. Jeremy's excited. This is too good. He got one. Do you know if it's right? Yeah. You know, how do you know? I see this place. Yeah. Is it is it right? Yellow, yellow. Oh, okay. Oh, that's how you know it's right, yeah. bro. Oh, okay. Wait, look at that. Gabby, your turn. There's some there's some. Let's ask them if you're supposed to. I want to find one somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, found one, I found a big one. No, 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 I'm brave. It's not ready. Yeah. You have to see yeah, the yeah. You can take it home and let it. Uh, just, yeah. You can, you can leave it there and then let it just. Like, mm -hmm. right. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go. You break it. Ooh. Ooh wee. <laughs> Look at the one I got, y'all. <laughs> I had a big one here. That's a big one. Let me do one. Hey guys. <laughs> we've taken some. It will come again, yeah? So we've gotten some, guys. The rain is actually coming, so we're going to get out of here soon. But wow, this is very, very interesting. I have to tell you more when I get inside. The rain is coming. Yeah. How long, how long is the shelf life? Wow, look at it. This is the M2, right? This is the MD2. This is the MD2. Yeah, this is the MD2. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Guys, please. Come inside. Guys, please. Okay. Mom, come and take some. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> It's the MD2, yeah? MD2, yeah. Alright, cool. All, all, all what we are producing at the moment is MD2. Guys, this is MD2 pineapples. Amazing. So you just walk around with this knife. Oh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, you know, usually when you buy from the market, you see it. You have to leave it for a day or two before yeah. it, like, no, this one is straight out. You plucked it and we're eating it. <laughs> best of the best in Ghana. Oh, okay. These are the ones that you were doing. Is this the three, four thing crisscross? Oh, that has been so we saw back there, we saw like a big pool or was that man-made or was that natural? Is it a dam? Yeah, that's a dam. It's over there? That's yeah, it. This one, this one. Oh, is this the one that yeah, we came yeah. from? Yeah, that's a dam. Oh, okay. We okay. have another one. That so one. you made it yourself for their crops? So that's, that's how you're trained out here to sit there. But what's the point of that for them to come to? Come back to what other Okay. No, that's what we use for our fertilization and application. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like this is too sunny. Nice. If, if it's too sunny, then he's stressed. <laughs> so you can go closer. So, um, we've already explained the purpose of the rubber yeah. the plastic for the mulching already. So what do you see here? You realize that there, there are marks here. Mm. So uh, because we have, we, 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 it's a customized plastic. So we tell the the, uh, pro uh, the producer of this one what we want and then what I mentioned they do for us. So this one is uh, 25 centimeters. Right. Mm. You know, 20, 25 centimeters. So each place you see M, M, it means if the planters are planting, that means they have to put it here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Was that M for millennia? Yes, M for millennia. Mm. No, they have to put it here. Branded products. Yes, yes. So you put it there, put it there, put it there. This is to ensure that you achieve 
um, a good planting density. Yes. Because if without this plastic and you are planting, it will be difficult to know that after this, the next one is exactly 25. 25, yeah. yeah. In that regard. Okay. Got it. Yeah. One, one is to one. Like it's all one, 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 one seed. So okay. that also shows the importance of the space because I'm guessing if you did it like 10 Too centimeters, close, they grow, like yeah. they, will, yeah. 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 Okay. they will go on top of it. You see, when as, as they grow, yeah. they form the canopy. Okay. Okay. So yeah. if it's too close, like you realize that if they are uh, stressing yeah. themselves or they are compacting, uh, one you have to give them that, this, and then the canopy can spread out and then mm. they fall on each other. Got it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Very sustainable. 2024. So this is them preparing to plant here and then on this side we see that they've just planted these fresh new beds here. So we're going to go see it up close and personal. How does it work in terms of when they're starting um, work? Do they have a set time that they work during the day or do they have a target that they need to hit? Okay, so it's target and it's also time bound. Okay. So we start work from seven and then we close at four. Okay. And then the target they have to do for planting, they have to plant 3,500 suckers a day. Okay. So even Ooh. if it's 11 a.m. and you finish planting the 3,500, and the supervisor in charge checks and clears you, you can go home. Okay. Nice. Oh, oh, you stand it. Oh, this way. no. This way, turn it this way. Yeah. Yeah? Is That's it too much? Right? Well, yeah. you said it's easy work, yeah? Yeah, we're good. Hmm? And I should put inside. Yeah. How far? 10 centimeters. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah. the, way you did it, the way you did it, you can never achieve the same thing. <laughs> okay. As, as in, you're putting right. inside. It's the best should be inside. You see? Yeah, yeah, this one is not good. Give it to me. This one is hard. It's man. hard. It's hard. It's not easy. It's hard. It's not easy at all. Anything done well looks easy. It's not good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, straight. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you see, this, oh, this is the flower. This is what would pineapples. turn into the pineapples. So pineapple actually is 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 a summation of flowers that have come together to create mm -hmm. a pineapple. Mm -hmm. Please drop. Wow, so this is how they look. So this, this, oh, this, this, they this. do look like pine. They this, do like this is eight, eight, nine weeks old. Shit. Oh, wow. After forcing. And then after forcing, it takes five months before you can harvest the fruit. Wow. So after seeing all that planting and harvesting, we are going to see the packaging uh, and they actually export every day by sea and by air guys like wow they're producing massively and they're shipping off to like places like morocco the netherlands and uh seychelles a lot of places that they're shipping out to, to the they do it for people who do like dry pineapple fresh pineapples like the one some of them like they're cut here and then shipped out so yeah, so much knowledge, guys. So much. It's, it's really nice just to see this. What? Let's go inside. Yeah, and then we bring them here. Here is like the first place where they get bath. So this is like a tank of water. We put the fruits here, and uh, it has a roller inside. Like, Close and see. Oh, okay. How are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Who is Jeremy? You see all this. There are pipes. Yeah, pipes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So, get fruits is like a swimming pool. Oh. We put the fruits inside here. Yeah. Of course, we chlorinate the water. Okay. Yeah. So, they will float, right? They will float yeah. onto the roller. All the right fruits must float. Oh. If it's bad, ah. if it's yeah. bad it will sink. Okay. Wow. I mean, bad like. Instead, maybe it is too much water. Oh, okay. So it goes down. So it and what happened? You just discard those ones? Yeah, those ones we discard. Okay. You can't use it for juice or anything? Okay. You could use for juice. Okay. 
But it's not good for production. You export it until like you can. Wow. Yeah, not everything will get through. Yeah. Very delicate. Very delicate, yeah. So, <laughs> so they get taken uh, inside the jungle cell and checked out. Okay. In aid of this tool. Mm -hmm. This tool aid. So it starts from here. Mm. Here, here is where we recirculate the, there's a chemical, not a chemical, it's a substance, we call it a wax. Mm. So the wax, it's like, a coating, uh -huh. preserving it. Preserving it, so it mm. doesn't lose a lot of water when it gets transported. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it passes through here and get wax, and then uh, there is someone who does that. We have count eight, count six, count five, six, seven, eight, up to twelve. Mm. It's the same box, but there's a, there are fruits. If the fruit is too big, maybe they'll sit six inside. So that we call it count six. If the fruits are a little bit smaller, maybe they'll sit inside, eight inside, mm. with the same box. So that's how we we, we grade them by size. size. So you never mix box. them. Huh? You never mix the sizes. No, we don't mix the sizes. That's interesting. Because customers also uh, request different sizes. Mm. Mm. They yeah. do. Oh, so you sell them by box. So, yeah. So like, yeah. if a customer comes, they will have to set. They will get a twelve, six, eight. Yeah. Like that. Mm. So okay. mostly size and weight. Of course, they count count sweets. We can come this. I was about to say, are they standing there? So each box with its uh, count, mm -hmm. for instance, I have 12 fruits in a box. Mm -hmm. Each fruit will have at least 850 grams mm -hmm. to 950. So the whole box will have at least 10.2 up to 11.4 mm -hmm. kilograms, mm -hmm. a box of it, net weight, mm -hmm. without including the box weight. Okay. Yeah. So that's how it is uh, we do pack here. Yeah. So air boxes carry six fruits, mm -hmm. basically. All these are air fruits, okay. uh, air boxes. A C a C box, but it's um, different, different com it's different. A, it's yeah. the same pineapples, different companies, different branding, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they can sell it at different prices. So who do, yeah. do they do they sort out the boxes and then get it to you, or is this part of the package as well? Like you provide them the boxes. Yeah, mm -hmm. we provide them provide everything. The design on the box and everything. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Vertically integrated. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the, the C kind of one. Box, C one. Mm -hmm. This is the L one, yes? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. This is the code room. Yeah. So these pencils here, what's, what, what's going to happen with them? They're going to be called all moments. Okay. Uh, uh, for the local service. These are the mm -hmm. the requirements. Yeah. Requirements. Size-wise, eh? So what no, happens? No, it could be a lot like this. Double counting. Oh, oh wow. wow! So when you see it like it's nice, but it's not as portable. Oh, yeah. and the size, and then the size also can also play. You see a lot of double count. Mm. So but it's eatable, down. right? You can still eat it. No, yeah, they sell oh, okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. But they don't want it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So got it. when is it? So what do you guys do with it? Do you sell it for local, like do you yeah, 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 locals yeah. to sell? Yeah. And people, then... people do uh, fresh and dry, so they can pick. They'll take oh, it. Oh, yeah, and yeah. then they will cut them up. So they get them. used. Good. Yeah, we don't want any kind of left on. So this is the I think this is the active code room we have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is one of the companies they sell to and they make fresh juices. So we tried it and it's really good. Just like that, we are back. Just like that, we're back in town, guys. Um, 
great experience. Uh, I don't even know what to say. You guys just have to experience it for yourself. But um, yeah, if you like things like, you know, very educative, this is like a trip that you guys can consider to do when you come to Ghana. We just came to come and eat because we haven't eaten. We've eaten so much pineapples and we got to take some um, with us too as well. So that was really nice of them. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy um, the video and hope you, hopefully when you come to Ghana, you do um, this tour. I highly recommend it. It's uh, When I first started, I was like, pineapples? I'm going to really learn about pineapples. But it's really, really interesting when they tell you about the whole process uh, from the time they are planting up until packaging. So it was amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you on another vlog.